saw you in real life. Or what a kinkajou is. Yes. I did, I yeah, really did. You, wait, you've seen both. What did I what? You've seen both. Yes. You, you've seen my picture on Geeks. You've seen those other pictures. Yes. They're not my best moments. You look a lot like the real thing. Need a, need a little bit of a shave. <laughs> so what's up? So, well, I wanted to ask you. I was reading some news today, and I saw something about a modem, a 3G modem that could go in laptops, and the wireless carrier that provides the service for it could basically kill the entire laptop just by sending a kill switch. What do you think about that? Uh... I think that's kind of Big Brother-ish. Yeah, so do I. I think it's kind of stupid. I mean, I don't argue with the uh, the process of it. I think it's an okay thing for, like, if a bank were to use it. Right. Like, they have some important sense of data on a laptop. If it gets stolen, they can use that to kill the laptop. Yeah. Of course, they won't be able to get data off. Yeah, Enterprise. Yeah, I, I can see that. I mean, for average use, though, that's a little... Uh... It's a little spooky. That, that, that's a little overkill. But, you know, actually, now that you say that, I think it. I think it's not a bad idea for Enterprise. Imagine this. Because I mean, yeah. this has happened before, where a laptop is lifted, and you say, oh, God, my laptop's gone. It's stolen. Would you not give yeah. anything, anything, to keep anybody from, from, from getting any data on that laptop? Exactly. I just don't like the idea of I miss a payment for my... Uh, yeah, um, wireless internet service, and then AT and T cuts my entire uh, laptop off. Well, um, hmm, it'll be interesting to see how that technology develops and how it's used. I think there are good uses for it, smart uses for it. Um, for instance, being able to to use it for trackability, you know, to be able to to if it if it you know pings the towers, you know, there's some kind of location, kind of like the way they do a. Location with uh, over the network without a GPS inside the iPhone. Um, yeah, it's like a fake GPS. Right, and 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 so you you basically if you had that built into the laptop, I mean, there's some security measures there. Of course, that's not going to stop anybody from taking the hard drive out. But <clears throat> like I said, you know, I that's think what driving <clears throat> for. right. Well, the the technology itself, I think, is an interesting uh, piece of technology, so long as it's made to be uh, friendly. I, and I, I hope that it would not develop uh, to be something that would uh, work in the in the way that you know you don't pay a bill and suddenly you get your uh, laptop turned off. I don't know if it would ever evolve to to that point or not. Well, that, that's what they designed it for. I don't think they cut it off after one t list mispayment, maybe two or three. That I think that's that's a mistake. That's a complete mistake. That's the a complete reason they're mistake. doing it. Complete from what mistake. What I'm reading is because. All these big name companies are subsidizing the cost of laptops, like the netbooks, and making them cost like a, only a hundred or two hundred dollars mm -hmm. when they actually are like four hundred dollars. Right. I don't know. I mean, it's it's uh, it's an interesting concept. It, you know, the only way it'd take off is if everybody accepted it, and I don't think everybody's going to accept that. I mean, why would you buy something that basically had a kill switch? In that sense. I mean, that's, that's a little janky. There's too much that can go wrong there.